Recently, I've been training the bar muscle up, and if you don't know what a muscle up is, it's where you pull yourself up and you really high and you transition onto the bar. So you do a really high pull up and then you transition into a single bar dip. And it's, a, it's quite an advanced skill. It's a very hard exercise. I never really spent too much time training it. So now I really want to get it down and I want to get it down clean. And there are two main ways that I've been training this skill and I'll show you them right now. When we're doing our normal pull up, we want to do it nice and controlled and we want to aim for full scapular retraction. Really arching our upper back and trying to touch our, imagine touching your shoulder blades together, like squeezing them together and down. But when we're training for a muscle up, our shoulders are slightly protracted because we're pulling ourselves up kind of around and over the bar. So our shoulders protract, they kind of go away from the spine rather than retract like a normal pull up. So we're not training a muscle up by doing normal pull ups per se. Like you do want to have a lot of pull up strength, but just doing a lot of normal pull ups over and over again isn't going to help you get to a muscle up. You've got to train explosive pull ups and an explosive pull up you use more of a shoulder protraction. So don't worry about aiming for that full retraction, doing explosive pull-ups. Just aim, worry for pulling yourself up really high, as fast as you can, as high as you can, and aiming low, aiming for about right here. And at first, it's okay to use a little bit of momentum. You can swing a little bit. Just make sure that you're starting each explosive pull-up with your arms completely locked out. Lock those elbows out. Don't, don't start like this. I see a lot of muscle ups where they'll start with slightly bent arms and that doesn't count. And you don't want to do too many of those. We're not trying to do to failure. We want to have a nice strong explosiveness so for me it's like between three to six right now and then i'll rest for like about a minute and then do another three to six and that's going to get you that explosive strength to help you get up there and you'll start getting higher and higher one thing that helps me is when you notice when you're just in a dead hang a passive hang and then you go into an active hang an active hangs where you activate your back muscles by kind of shrugging your shoulder blades well, you're depressing them, you're bringing your shoulder blades down, it's just kind of doing that scapula shrug, and you're engaging your back muscles. So I'll swing and get a little bit of momentum going forward. I'll lock my arms out completely, elbows locked out, and then when I'm about to come back, I do that, act, I activate, I go into that active hang, as soon as I pull up, and I feel like it gives me a little boost. So as soon as I activate my back muscles, this is when I shoot up. It just happens really fast, it's like, and you pull. I'm not gonna try to do a muscle up, I'm just gonna do an explosive pull up. And then from there, you can practice pulling your chest to the bar. So not necessarily trying to transition yet, but just pulling up high and pulling yourself to the bar. kind of looks a little funky and a little uncontrolled. You're still trying to keep it controlled on the way down. Don't just fall. Don't just let gravity take you down. But this is what's going to help you get that explosiveness. It's been helping me get the explosiveness to get my muscle up. The second way I've been training muscle ups is by using a resistance band. And this I feel like is helping me keep my form together, helping keep my feet nice together. And it allows me to focus on my form while giving me a little boost. So the explosiveness I feel like is more for the power and this helps me with my form and technique. Because form is everything. I see a lot of people when they're learning their muscle ups and they're not fully locking out their arms for one. They're starting with slightly bent elbows and so that's not using a full range of motion. And I'd rather just do one strict clean pull up, I mean muscle up, than do several muscle ups where I'm not coming down and I'm not fully locking out my arms because for me it's, it's always quality over quantity. So start off learning it the right way and this resistance band, it's been helping me. And so this is how I've been using it for a muscle up right here.
As you can see, the resistance band is great, keeping your feet together and allowing you to focus on coming down, locking out those arms, and giving you a little boost to help you get out there. And it's more to learn the movement. And the explosive pull-ups are more for the power. Don't become dependent on this, and don't just only use the band. Make sure you step away from the band here and there, and you check your progress. You see how close you can get to do the muscle up. But just keep in mind, one problem you might have is where one arm is getting up before the other arm. Like you pull up and then this arm transitions over or this arm transitions up over first. Don't do that. Try to catch yourself when you're doing that and don't do it. I've done it a few times and it'll end up making your shoulder really sore. It's just bad on your shoulders. And catch try to catch yourself. And as soon as you get to that part, if one, if one arm's gonna get over before the other, just bail. Just come back down nice and controlled out don't force it over the bar you will get there eventually trust me keep in mind the difference between a muscle up on the rings and on the bar on muscle up on the rings you're always using that false grip a false grip is rather than gripping it normally your palms are over the bar or over on top of the rings so your wrists it's like you got this little mantis hook right here and your palm is over the bar or over the rings and it's a completely different feeling of a muscle up. It's a different kind of strength, different power. You're not using that explosiveness to pull up, pulling up nice and controlled. And it's different muscle activation. It's just more common to do explosive muscle ups on the bar and then do false grip muscle ups on the rings. And keep in mind when you're doing your false grip muscle ups on the bar, make sure you're using a full range of motion also. I see a lot of people false grip muscle up and they'll start from like right here and you gotta lock those elbows out on the rings too. False grip muscle ups aren't necessarily harder or easier. They're just two completely different types of muscle ups and different muscle activation. So you should probably learn them both. If you wanna learn how to start training false grip, specifically on the rings, then check out a link in the description. I'll put it right now of how I've been training false grip. And I hope these two ways help you train your bar muscle up. Just remember, explosive pull ups and use the band to help you keep your form tight, keep your feet nice together, keep your body nice and stiff, controlled, tight. Make sure you're holding that posterior pelvic tilt. Your abs are squeezed tight, your glutes are tight. Like don't just let your body, don't just let your body swing and be limp down here. Really keep it nice and tight. Remember your body's all one unit trying to work together. And every every bit of nice and tightness, including squeezing your glutes, pointing your toes, keeping your legs tight and together. It's gonna help you get that muscle up. And try not to kick. Don't use, don't bend your knees and, and kick yourself up to try to get your momentum to get up there. That's called kipping, and that's a big no-no in calisthenics. And you will be laughed at. You will get made fun of for kipping. And it's not gonna help you get the exercise anyways. Or if you do get it, it's just gonna look sloppy. So make sure you just take the time, build the strength, build the power and you'll have your bar muscle up down. And lock out those elbows every time. I'm tired of seeing people learn muscle up, like right here, like, oh, eight muscle ups, and they only come down to like right here. Lock it out completely, lock out those elbows. I'd rather see one or two really clean muscle ups than five muscle ups where you're not locking out all the way or where you're kipping to get yourself up there. It's kind of, it's fine maybe in a little bit in the beginning because we're all learning right now, but you want to aim towards that clean, Come